Greetings, I'm Chris. Welcome back to our In Skyrim series, playing as a World of Warcraft demonic conjuring, fireball wielding warlock. In our previous episode, we stood against the formidable might of our first dragon, a trial that laid bare the frailties within our warlock class, highlighting our weaknesses and strengthening our resolve to overcome them. As our journey unfolds in Skyrim, the stains from our dark hearts begin to manifest. Already, the residue from the crushed death bells stains our fingertips. Our hands twitching from the heat and smouldering of the many fire spells we have cast upon our foes. Thank you for joining me in this series. Together, let us unravel the tapestry of events that this new chapter presents to us. We have uh, rested a little bit um, since our last travel, so we're ready to go. We'll continue in Whiterun, exploring the area and seeing what other quests there are to present themselves and then we'll move further, a little bit more outwards, into the, uh, world. Of course, one of the main areas that we'll be going to will be Winterhold, but I'd like to hold back just yet, just so we've got a bit more battle experience, and then we can, uh, level a bit more and then through that area. Sweet roll. Delicious. I'd like to also speak to the town folk around to see if there's anything going on. Hmm? Did you know some Alagar warriors are looking for a Red Guard woman? Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. And already we're thrown into a conspiracy a quest. A strong box. This doesn't exactly feel safe, but So are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. Tell me I'll, what's going I'll on. I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Relax, I'm not going to hurt you. Then I need your help. And there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. Maybe. What do you want? I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. I know what that's like. How am I supposed to get rid of them? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. Any suggestions as how to find them? I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. Massively dangerous, in fact. Why haven't you gone to the guards for help? You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless. Cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. With a blade in your hand. Why are the Alakir after you? I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Find me the moment the Alakir... Not overly convinced with her uh, reasoning, but... We'll pursue the quest to a certain length. We are a warlock, so we are... Uh, I'm not saying we're morally aligned to be good or bad, but uh, usually it's to a situation that's, that suits us and is beneficial to us in the long term. This may be beneficial. Read Emshar's diary. There we. Emshara has a secret. 
Not a bad secret, like the Battleborn's secret affair. Not a boring secret, like the shopkeeper who hates his sister. M. Shara's secret is too good to be believed. M. Shara did not always spend her days like this, a cat who pretends to be a dog. No, M. Shara used to be a bandit warrior, a member of the Crimson Dirks, famous rogues wanted by the East Empire Company, the clan mothers of elsewhere and lawbringers from here to the Somerset Isles. If the guards only knew, they would come kill her. That is why M. Shara can never tell. But her time is short. She longs for company. The other day she took to begging outside the city and saw her little mate, Zaharia, walk through the gates. M. Shara called her by her name, but the Red Guard ignored her. M. Shara is sure she heard her, and it made her sad to know this. M. Shara does not want to die a rug. Perhaps she will do something mischievous and get the white run guards to attack. Then she will be a warrior once more. When the cat's away. Now that looks like an interesting quest. So we've got a few bits to um, look through. I really want some of these sweet rolls. We do need to do the wave the voice. I think we will hold off and do that if we can't clear up a few uh, quests here first. The missing merchant could be good. Do have some miscellaneous quests. I would like to get through a few of them. Build up our XP. We'll uh, we'll try the missing merchant and uh, see where that takes us. I think we did just level up as well. Okay, so we uh, we put a bit into magic. We put some more into health, just so it's not too impossible for us. Fantastic. Got points in destruction, nothing in conjuration, nothing in alchemy is that either. Um, probably gonna have to start looking into alchemy at some point. Potions and poisons you make are 20% stronger. That is going to be very useful. We're gonna be relying a lot on health potions. of an overcast day outside okay so where do we need to go for this quest or is it actually um is it local By order of Ulfric Stonecloak, to all able-bodied men and women of Skyrim, a merchant by the name of Gunther Frostfoot has gone missing. He was last seen in the area near Traitor's Post. Any assistance in this matter would be appreciated. Your leave. Okay. Investigate Traitor's Post. I'd like to stay local just for the time being if we could. Oh, here we are. It's kind of far away. We do actually have some business in Windhelm. But that's just a little bit farther away for now. A little bit more than I'd like. I'm sure there was a quest for a bandit's outpost. Um, did we get that? Oh, 
up in the steward's note. I apologise for the secrecy, but I'd rather not speak about this in front of the Jarl. In the events, the information I receive is incredible. He has enough on his plate as it is. You see, early last week I received a tip from an unnamed source regarding a potential assassination plot on the Jarl. Now, while we, talk, we take all threats seriously, it's difficult to know just how credible this source is. And with everything that's happened as of lately, I don't have time to investigate this myself. That's where I'd like you to head to Arcadia's Cauldron and check their ledger for any suspicious purchases, in particular poisons. I've asked Arcadia to leave you a copy on her counter. Look over it, find out who purchased bottles over the last few years and confirm their reasons are legitimate. In the meantime, I'll have our cooks check every piece of food, bottle of mead and leftover breadcrumb just to be sure nothing is tainted. If your investigation turns up nothing, then I'll know the information I received is false and the Jarl is safe for the time being. If not, I hope someone of your reputation can take care of the situation swiftly. So we have a reputation now then. Hopefully we can get in there. Oh, plants. One of these. Dragon's tongue. More dragon's tongue. Ah, we may have to wait. What's the time? Go and read it, okay? Take business ledger copy. Weekly business letter ledger for Arcadia's cauldron. Investigate the halls of the dead, check the stables. And the Caius, Lydia, alias the Huntress. This is actually quite interesting. Lydia has a potion of strength. Oh, tut tut. Ayla the Huntress, a potion of true shot. Danica Pure Spring, potion of extreme healing. Wow. 240 gold for the Nord Warrior. Imperial Mage, potion of magicka. Rungar, Priestess of RK. Ooh, Barangar. What's Barangar been doing? Enchanter's potion. Bellathor's General Goods, potion of haggling. Okay. That uh, looks good. Okay, so we've got In the Shadows. It seems there may be a potential assassination plot against the Jarl at the steward's direction. I visited the local alchemist. Yep, 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 we've got that. So I read it and found the two people had purchased potions. Poison, po poison potions. A priest at the Hall of the Dead and a stable boy. Check the stables, investigate the Hall of the Dead. We can do that. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most of the You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Is that in here? Let me guess. Nightshade, I think that could come in quite useful. Mountain flower. More mountain flower. Okay, so this must be the Hall of the Dead. Very atmospheric. Shrine of Arcade. Oh, I hear the familiar sound.
second boy. Okay. <laughs> he did a lot of good. Brilliant. Dog. Wow, I love the uh, I love the aesthetic here. Well, if it's uh, if it's just lying there, death blow of Abernanit. The death blow of Abernanit, which explains. With explains by the sage Geocrates Varnus. Okay. Broken battlements and wrecked walls where worship of the horror one once embraced. The bites of fifty winters, frost and wind have cracked and pitted the unholy gates and brought down the cruel, obscene spire. All is dust, all is nothing, more than dust. The blood has dried and screams have echoed out. I probably won't read all of this as it is a bit more blocking related, but we'll just uh We'll flick through so you can pause and have a look through. I'll probably read them at my own leisure when we get back to the end as well. Fantastic. Just so we can... Uh, Keep a good pace in the game. A really loud minion. Ooh, wow. That, uh, I'm ashamed to say that actually made me jump. Steve trouble. Since no one else seems to be doing anything about it, I've taken steps to rid ourselves of this skeever problem. Please do not eat this cheese as it is laced with dangerous poison. I repeat. This cheese is for skeevers only. If you feel the need to take a bite, I implore you to look in the mirror first and confirm that you are a skeever. If so, then you may eat to your heart's content. If you are not a skeever, then you can better serve RK by staying alive. So we've got poison goat's cheese and they've even left the poison out as well. Which is, uh, is always a wise thing to do. Okay, so we've invested the catacombs. I have a feeling we'll be coming back here for other quests in the future. It's quite the place when the dead literally rise and... Uh, Guard it. Hopefully this is good cheese. Okay, so next up we need to investigate the stables. Tundra cotton, brilliant. More tundra cotton. I believe there is a farm we can um, we can acquire. What's the matter? Let's just you say. Can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman. I miss the days when the Grey Manes and Battleborns got along. Ever since the war started, we've been at each other's throats. Okay. Another storyline for us to uh, pick out another day. It's uh, it is down here. It's 
Tady. Tady. This isn't good. Spell tome detect life. Nearby living creatures, but not undead, machines or Daedra can be seen through walls. Well, it would be good to uh, take at least. Grab that. Investigate the Silent Moon's camp. Okay, the Dark Elf was smart to choose me. Scars as I'd, I can pass it as a stable boy easily enough. I'll tell the shopkeeper I got buckled, bucked by a wild one and landed face third into the briars. I'm smart like that. The other bandits always poke fun at my face, saying I look like a newborn babe, but it comes in handy for jobs like this. After seeing how well the Dark Elf pays, the entire gang will be looking for a razor pretty soon. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to meet my mysterious benefactor back at the stables and not at the Silent Moon's camp. Not sure why, but he says if I'm followed, it's best to stay in character until I'm well clear of the city gates. Well, I hope he doesn't sneak up on me while I wait. I nearly soiled myself the last time, but smart guy that I am, I brought this tome to help me find him. Thing is, I opened it up and can't for the life of me figure out how it works. Only a matter of time though for a guy like me. Okay, so it leads us on to uh, the uh, Silent Moon camp. Luna Steel War Axe. What is this item? While the moons are out, burns the target for 20 points. That is, uh, that is really interesting. Okay. Okay, so how far is the Silent Moon's camp? Oh, it's just, just down the road. We can do that. I'm sure they're a friendly bunch as well. We can uh, say hello. Mark Hearth and Solitude. Mountain flower could be good. Venture out into the wild. Beautifully atmospheric. I think that's High Hrothgar maybe. We may need to go there. That's been a while since I traversed the lands of Skyrim. Okay, so we have a giant over there. Would ideally like to not tangle with him. Camp is over here, it seems. Did I spot something in here? Uh, no, I didn't. See what our quest text tells us about this. Uh, it seems there may be a potential assassin, yet at the White Run stables I found a dead body and clues that point to the Silent Moon's camp. I should investigate the area and see what I could find. I am assuming they're going to be uh, they're going to be hostile. Maybe if we go there under the uh, the pretense of just a wandering novice. Conjurer. Probably would have been good to make a few health potions, but... Nernery. Beautiful. We 
Okay, so how to approach it? I mean, if this is the entrance, we would probably work our way in up. I think we'll do it the traditional way. We've got spells, we've got our... Familiar. Let's double check our magic. So we have the Conjuration. Conjured Familiar, which isn't too bad, it's not absolutely brilliant, but we've got Flames. Strangulation as well. Absorbs 16 points of health per second. Three seconds. So we could pop a Conjured Familiar and then use Flames and Strangulation. And we'll save and go from there. And we just overcharge this. Beautiful. Food. We do need food actually. How are we doing for potions? Well, it's something. Oh, that's a bad one. a little bit just to restore a little bit of health and uh, magicka conjured familiar wasn't too powerful but um, it's better than nothing it did a little bit of uh, a little bit of distraction I'd love to find where that body was but I feel like I'm gonna be wandering around the moors looking all over for it Dagger, Corundaminga, gold. No food. We really do need to start, maybe even cooking. We really are going to be a parody of our uh, World of Warcraft warlock if we do cooking as well, even fishing. A bit of tailoring. Oh, brilliant. We can make some stew, possibly. Silent Moon's camp. Brilliant. Dagger, gold. Quick save. We are an expert, um, just like last time, so uh, it presents a challenge. And when we're not healing and we don't have a ward, it presents a challenge. We have to really kind of think about how we're going to attack these problems. He's sneaky. Say so it is a pleasure with the. Uh, Atmospheric music and visuals, though. Don't think we can cook here, probably because it's hostile. Grab the fish. Using every uh, every advantage we uh, we can muster. Not that strangulation was too good, so we might just conjure to distract. See if we can't get a quick sneaky fireball. Or do we have fear? We 
we do have the My god, we've got fear and we haven't favorited it. Okay. Fear him and then roast him. We've got a lot as well. I'll tell you what might be better is. Fury. Me, friend. Well, that worked out absolutely. If I could just not today, my friend. Not today. What an absolutely painful way to die. Suppose we have to sneak around now. Light armor forging. That could be useful actually to us if we look to start making our own armor and weapons. There are two classes of light armor, metallic and non-metallic. Elven and glass are metallic light armor. You may be you may be surprised to think that glass can be thought of as metallic, but appearances are deceiving. What we call glass is nothing like the window panes you see in houses. The greenish material is far stronger and has a much higher melting point. Non-metallic armors are hide, stubbed, leather and scaled. For these armor types the forger is as much tailor as blacksmith. All use large pieces of armor stitched together with leather strips. Studded armor also need iron ingots from which you will make the studs and metal rings that make it more effective than simple hide. Scaled armor uses steel instead of iron, but the steel is infused with corundum to make the metal insert stronger. For centuries, the secret of making elven armor was a closely guarded secret on Somerset Isle. Then the betrayal of Ulval Laren brought it, brought it the rest of Tamriel. Ulva was a dark elf slave working the bellows for Nulion, master smith of the isle from the Frith through the 7th century of the Second Era. When Orville escaped, he could think of no greater punishment to mete out to his cruel master than to reveal all his secrets to the world. Thus we came to know that Moonstone is the key ingredient in elven armour, and the salt water must be used to quench the hot metal. For gilded elven armour, you must also meld in quicksilver. It melts at a much lower heat than Moonstone, making it tricky to work the two metals together. The trickiest of all is glass. Hammer blows struck across the grain run the risk of shattering the armour. Its principal ingredient is malachite, although it also requires moonstone to give it the right strength. Really interesting. Notes on the Lunar Forge. Forge. I've managed to get the forge itself up and running, but again I find nothing special about these workings. These weapons were clearly forged here, yet the secret of their enchantments remain elusive. All I've been able to discern so far is some connection between the weapon's power and the appearance of the moons. The lunar weapons. 
The weapons themselves are crafted of what seems to be normal metal, but while the moons are high above, they gain an additional ability. It seems that once the sun has gone down, the lunar weapons take on a vampire-like ability, transferring a small amount of health from the victim to the user. That is interesting. Lunar Iron War Axe. So another, another lunar item. Petty Soul Gem, brilliant. Circlet of Minor Restoration. Good to have and we'll, uh, we'll disenchant it. Okay, so I think we've uh, we've done well here. We've kind of we've made our mark, it seems. Okay. Assassin's Journal. Find the assassin on the upper floor of Dragon's Reach when the Jarl is unoccupied. The bow has long been a player in the game. It's toppled many a piece from Jarls to Kings. It does so without sight or sound, save for a rattling crown on a bloodstained floor. And yet, it's been far too long since it had a chance to tilt the board. Rayla's guile failed to topple a piece. Drown took the flesh, but not the soul, and the game went on without incident. Now the pieces sit idly by, refusing to move in their comfort. Even now, as I take aim at this target, I hear their indolent yawns through the draw of my bowstring. Yet the board cannot remain level forever. With the bow in my hand, it will tilt once more. However, the timing must be right. The toppling of a piece rings hollow in a thunderstorm. I must wait for a quiet moment, one that's intimate when the Jarl is not engaged in talks of war and dragons. If the, if the battle for Skyrim comes to Whiterun, I will be forced to redraw. But there will, become, there will come a time when he sits idly by in his grand hall, unbothered by the world. In that moment, when the Jarl has a chance to finally breathe, I will sneak my way to the upper floors and make sure that breath is his last. And when I take my leave, cloaked in her shadow, all anyone will hear is a rattle. Wow. I'm just impressed at the writing of that. Invocation of Azura. Well, we'll take it and read that later. Um, I think it's... Ooh, yes, could be good. Okay, so we've done well. I think we need to head back to... Uh, Dragon's Reach now, so I should... Uh, let's see. It's likely that he will only appear when the Jarl is not tending to any other business. I should find him and take him out before he can carry out the plot. Definitely something we need to do. I don't think there's anything else here for us. I thought there might be a dungeon, but I could be wrong. Maybe we have to come back here at another point. Ooh, actually. There is something. Okay, well this is another part I think, so we will uh, we'll come back here at another juncture in the quest line. Sure, there's absolutely nothing there for us, and we'll head back. I don't think there's much else to kind of explore around this bit. I mean, we've got dragons here, not dragons, sorry, giants. If there's a camp nearby, or we can just fast travel, I think. Got a camp nearby. For what purpose? I'm sure it's some kind of shady business. So they seem a little bit hostile. Oh, nope. Second boy. Where you coming? We 
won't uh, we won't tangle with these guys just yet. We'll finish off uh, White Run. I actually think I did more damage to my uh, my conjured minion. Grab me! Oh, excellent. Okay, and we'll head back to the safety of White Run for now. Just get a bit further away so we're out of danger and we'll uh we'll fast travel. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. But I've got a right to browse, don't Very I? True. I ain't Very true. Very true. There's a Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. I was wondering when we'd see um, Lydia. Okay, so what does a house call do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. And I'm a thane. What does that mean? Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold, a hero. The title of Thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Mm -hmm. It could be handy having Lydia as a follower. Um, I think she is a sword and shield character, so she can take a bit of melee damage while we uh, do damage off, uh, off to the side, but uh, I'm not going to be able to heal her. We'll keep her for now and see how things go. Lead the way. The trouble is we are going to be doing some dubious things, so... I'm Father not sure how she's going to feel about that. Sword, so I practice with my fists. Hmm. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. But do we just... Can we just wait? Let's see. I should find him and take him out. It's likely he will only appear when the Jarl is not attending to any other business. Divine smile on you. Do a little bit of alchemy. Oh, we can do some enchanting. Undead up to level three. Flee for 30 seconds. Yes. Luna, iron axe. Yes. Yes. Iron boots of resist frost. Okay, I don't think we can actually. Oh, we can. We can actually enchant. Uh... Mm. Something, something to work towards. See what we can make. Mm, so, what do we need for a health potion? Mm, I think we'll wait until we get a few more uh, 
ingredients and build up our health potions. Although resist five could be good. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. I don't think we can activate it here. No end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. How did a dark elf come to the ha to be house called? Balgrup and I share a battle bond. We met as youths and forged our friendship in the fires of war. When he became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. Gods, you are curious. Almost dangerously so. I've got my eyes on you. Oh, I like that character as well. What a shame. I think she's a, a really interesting, complex character in the game. I don't think we have to go upstairs for anything here, but let's just double check. Oh, or do we? Yes, we do. Okay. It was this. Oh, dear. Well, this is not a good situation, but I do appreciate his uh, ability to wait for us to get our spells. Hmm. I think we mass fear him. Well, just super fear him. And then burn him down. Oh, wow. This guy hits like a truck. We got food. Oh, we've got a big potato. Oh. Oh, sorry, Lydia. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Over the side he goes. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house. Lydia, follow me. We have work to do. Yikes, well, on expert, this guy hits like a truck. And I can't fear him either. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Good, come upstairs and help me get this guy then. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Okay, I don't want to turn the, uh, the difficulty down just yet. I want to see what we can do with the, uh, the skills we've got. I think we absolutely make a massive... Flames. The magic. Okay. Come on, boy. Come on. What was that? Ah! Enough of this. I'll just. Oh, right in the head. Okay, so this guy can literally two shot and he's just slain my dog. Right, one more go and we might have to turn the arm. The Jarl has appointed me to be your the difficulty down a bit. If he can if he's gonna be able to two shot us. I mean I could just I just really need to identify him there. And the guards can jump in. And then I can jump in. It's the sneaky way of doing things. Another wanderer here to lick my all these boots. Good job. Go cost your fancy magic. I think we get in. We get out. Okay. Okay, Lydia. There we go. There we go. Cavalry's coming. Ed, absolutely excellent. Just don't get me. I want to make sure I don't roast these guys. Killing blow. This guy was a real assassin. The 
Bow of Shadows, weapon draw is 20% faster and casts invisibility for 30 seconds. Wow. 20% faster is good, but invisibility for 30 seconds, that's, that's incredible. Ebony arrow, steel, dagger, iron dagger, amethyst, gold, lot this guy's got everything. Weak aversion to magic. What is it that you need? You have my attention? Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Maybe we go downstairs. I serve Jarl Balkra as steward. I found the assassin and took care of him, if you didn't notice already. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. 500 gold. And do I keep the do I get to keep the bow as well? Who are the grey beards? Near as I can tell, a bunch of ancient Nord hermits who live on top of a mountain. Never heard of them talking to anybody before. If they really do want to talk to you, you'd better go find out what they want. You never know. Okay, I do want to buy a house at some point, but it's uh, probably a little way off yet. Wow, that was a really good quest. Okay, let's see what else we have. Well, we are going to do the missing merchant, but it's a while out yet. Found a note at the banner bear. Inspect Dragon Reach's dungeon for clues on M. Shara. Bones for a crow. That's a big quest. Let's look at bones for a crow. Read the bounty of a crow's tooth. Rumour has it that forsworn raiding parties have been pushing further and further east, along the Gerald Mountains. The arrival of Legate Fasendil has prevented further incursions but they failed to apprehend their leader, Crow's Tooth. While Crow's Tooth has been separated from her forties, she is believed to have fled with considerable spoils. In an effort to put an end to this threat, anyone killing Crow's Tooth may claim her stolen loot. Very nice. Mercenaries like infamous sellsword Bjornmund Windstrider have been seen heading into the mountains beyond Darklight Tower. While they could be after the treasure, it is feared Crow's Tooth is gathering these forces for a renewed assault. We ask any capable warriors for their aid in dealing with this potential threat. We'll take a look. Bones for a crow. According to the bounty I received, for sword have been pushing their presence further and further east. I have formed a and have formed a camp near Darklight Tower. Far away is that for us? Oh, that's um, it's quite a way. We do have business in Rift, and also we need to uh, at least unlock the start of the Thieves Guild quest line to uh, be able to allow us for fencing and our generation of income to further. Uh, strengthen our study into the dark arts. I would just like to stay a bit more local, though. Missing merchant. Uh, when the cat's away. We could do when the cat's away. We have to stay local for that. The Arl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist. Is Lydia with us? She is. Wow, the weather has changed. It is a gorgeous day in Skyrim. The sun is a 
extremely bright. I think I need to go back. Do we need to go back up here? Okay, they're too busy looking around at the uh, the beautiful day. If we kill the dragon once, we can do it again. With Mountain flower. Fantastic. like a place I would rather avoid to be honest. <clears throat> Read Emshara's Confession. Thank god for these waypoint markers. If it, if it was like older RPGs I would never have found this anywhere. Retrieve the armor from the hut. Emshara enjoyed her fight with the guard. Plus her new home is better than the last. It is a very tiny cage, but she does not beg for food. It is given. Still, Emshara longs to see the night sky. When she was a kitten, the elders warned her that if she stared too long at the moons, they would grow shy, and Emshara would never see them again. This made her sad, and so Emshara vowed to stop looking at the sky, and kept her head down toward the dirt where the beggars belonged. One day she tried to steal the silver out of the pockets of a Nord named Tyra, when she heard Kajit's story, she took pity on the kitten and told her that the moons were not the timid creature she had believed. She said that as long as Kajit held her head high, up high, they would shine brighter than any star. From that day on, she spent her life in service to the Crimson Dirks, and when she was ready, her new littermates forged her an armor made of silver, and in its heart, the piece Tara Tira had in her pocket so many moons ago. Amshara hid the armor in a hut northwest of Rorikstead. At times, Amshara has longed to retrieve it and wear it proudly. But she must be careful not to let sentiment cloud her judgment. Amshara suspects she is being followed, so she will leave the armor for another. Besides, it is not the silver in the armor or the moonlight in the sky that Amshara treasures, but the friends she has lost. Perhaps in death, she will see them again. Wow, another really good storyline. I feel like this is not the place to pilfer. Can we just go in? Watch the skies, traveller. Watch out. Let's have a curious look around. Who is this? What are you looking at? I need to find Kamatha. I don't think we've done that, mm -hmm. that part of the quest time. yet. Okay, so next up, when the cat's away, I found a note next to the evidence chest that implies she left an armor set in an abandoned hut near Rorikstead. I understand the game does want us to get out of where, out of White Rim now, and really start exploring the area. So we might have to start doing that just a little bit. We've got quest eastwards, so. Uh, that could be good. I'm probably just missing the marker. I can never see the marker properly. What is it? We'll get out of here first. Ooh, quite far away. I'd kind of like to um, complete this quest. Maybe we can just get a quick, quick ride there. Oh no! No no no! Okay, 
Okay, let's see uh, what our weight is at. 300 to 375. We could do with selling a few things. Maybe we can sell it in here. Balathor's general goods. Maybe there's a magic book or two. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Seems like a nice guy. How's business? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. Bet the half, and I bet you've all profited from it. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, let's see what he's got. Dark leather backpack, that looks pretty cool. Fishing map, I would like to try out fishing at some point. Grilled chicken breast, wow. Robes of alteration and illusion. Interesting. And spell tomes. Okay. Clairvoyance flames. Mm. Really got a lot, has he? Okay, let's see what we can sell. May as well offload them. It's a gift. I feel like I don't want to sell it just yet. Absolutely not. Yeah, we're not going to use that again. The little of minor restoration, we've learnt it. We'll use that to, uh, to enchant later on. Learnt it. Vacation of Azura. Something to read later. Yep. some nice money and the rest I think we can leave we'll start selling some potions and uh, really working into our alchemy next time save our rings steel armor yeah we need to get rid of that steel arrow steel dagger Okay. Do come back. Good. Much better place. I work for Bellathor. Hopefully, we can get this quest uh, done. We may need to um, we need to rest up at the uh, the local uh, city, but we'll see. Okay, so we want to go. Eesh, that's quite a way. How much further is it? I actually think it's exactly halfway. I don't think we can get to Rorik's dead, so what we might do is. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Yeah, 
can't get that by here. See ya. What we might do is we might traverse on foot um, and we can explore more of the area. It's night time. We'll go at night. Yeah, we'll go at night. See what the uh, night time brings. It's probably going to be a little bit of uh, walking along the way. We'll see if we can't find a few places to uh, rest up at perhaps a camp or two. Skyrim is definitely an area to explore. I do you remember this area far too well from, uh, from our last episode? That pesky dragon. Mirmule there. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Wow. You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Listen. Back off now. Intimidate. Listen. I don't want any trouble. Should we try intimidate? I feel this guy could probably destroy us. I don't have to take that from you. Oh dear. Okay. Power off flames. That's all you got. Very nice. I completely forgot Lydia was here as well. Like, where was she? Did she go for a coffee break? Well, we've got, we did the job, Lydia. Thank you to uh, you as well. Potion of minus stamina, silver ingot. I hate to kill, I hate to know that I killed this guy, but we're, we are going to be the ultimate powerful warlock. You know, there is a bit of decorum. Doesn't look, uh, doesn't look pleasant one bit. Where is this? Oh, grey more. Okay, we've got it discovered. We'll keep moving. Lydia's going, going, um, archery, okay. Well, if she wants to do that, we'll leave her with that. I know we can kind of change how she operates, but... Get some, uh, ingredients for our alchemy. Okay, so as we're going... In good time. Oh, oh, that sound, that. Oh. oh, this isn't good. Wow, a bone wall. Good 
hurt Lydia. Okay, so that was a thing. Where is that? Um, Galatal Conjurer. That was, uh, i got to say, that was extremely cool looking. Yes, we don't get anything good from him. There. Something up here, though. Ooh, okay. So, happenings have been happening here. We have what looks like a dead novice conjurer, gold iron dagger, liminal bridges. Black mage robes. Um, we'll leave his boots. Death bell. Always a suspicious uh, ingredient. Conjure skeletal minion. Okay, so we've actually got some really nice items here. Um, this is nice to happen upon. Okay, so conjure skeletal uh, skeletal minion, a skeletal minion, summons a weak skeletal minion warrior for sixty seconds. That's probably going to be our bread and butter for a little while. And what was the other book? Liminal bridges. Very uh, oblivion sigil looking. Oh. Conjuration increased to 23 as well. Little Bridges, a discourse on the theory and praxis of travelling between Mundus and Oblivion. Carmillon Way of Alanor. Transliminal passage of quickened objects or entities without the persistent agency of hyperagonal media is not possible. And even if possible, would result in instantaneous retromission of the transported refer reference. Only a transpontine circumpenetration of the limin will result in transits of greater than infinitesimal duration. Though other hyperaxagonal media may exist in theory, the only known transliminal artifact capable of sustained transpontine circumpenetration is the sigil stone. A sigil stone is a specimen of pre-mythic quasi-crystalline morpholith that has been transformed into an extra-dimensional artifact through the arcane inscription of a daedric symbol. Interesting. Though some common morpholiths like soul gems may be found in nature, the exotic morpholiths used to make sigil stones occur only in pockets, or pocket voids of oblivion and cannot be prospected or harvested without Daedric assistance. Therefore, since both the Mophiliths and the Daedric sigils required for hyperagonal media cannot be obtained without traffic and commerce in Daedra Lords, it is necessary that a transliminal mechanic cultivate a working knowledge of conjuration. Though possible, th though purpose, built enchantments may be substituted if the mechanic has sufficient inventory Invocatory skill. Traffic in commerce with Daedra Lords is an esoteric but well established practice and lies outside the compass of this treatise. I get the feeling this set uh, novice conjurer is having a lot of difficulty with this book, just like me. Presuming a sigil stone has been acquired, the transliminal mechanic must first prepare the Morpholith to receive the Daedric symbol. Let the mechanic prepare a chamber sealed against all daylight and disturbances of the outer air roofed and walled with white stone and floored with black tiles. All surfaces of this chamber must be richly purified with a solution of void salts in ether solvent. A four square table shall be placed in the center of the room with a dish to receive the morpholith. Four censers shall be prepared with incense compounded from Gorvix and Harada on the equinox. 
the mechanic shall then place the morpholith in the dish and intone the rites of the book of law beginning at dawn and continuing without cease until the sunset of the same day the mechanic may then present the purified morpholith to the daedra lord for his inscription once inscribed the daedra lord sigil the morpholith becomes a true sigil stone a powerful artifact that collects and stores arcane power similar in many respects to a charged soldier but of a much greater magnitude and it is this sigil stone that is required to provide the tremendous arcane power necessary to sustain the enchantments that supports the transpontine circumpenetration of the lyman to open a gate to oblivion the mechanic must communicate directly by spell or enchantment with the daedra lord who inscribed the sigil stone in question the daedra lord and the mechanic jointly invoke the conjuration charter and the mechanic in activates the charged sigil stone which is immediately transported through the liminal barrier to the spot where its sigil was inscribed thus opening a temporary portal between mundus and oblivion this portal may only remain open for a brief period of time depending on the strength of the liminal barrier at the chosen spots several minutes being the longest ever reported so the usefulness of such a gate is quite limited appendix one interested students are invited to consult the works of albrecht theo baines bombidius and galeron galerian the mystics for the fundaments of this discipline two recommend ex examples of conjurational charter may be found in therian's book of most arcane covenants or ralibala's elven ritual forms and now we know interesting really interesting stuff completely over my head but and we will just uh adjust our magic favorite that brilliant unfavorite that see what we can get from this Where can we do it? Here's a nice area. Beautiful. It's actually very similar to the model in there in the previous game, Oblivion. Even the sound is just reminiscent of it. Superb. Okay, let's carry on. Imagine it will be dawn soon. So we've got a giant cap here. Along the way, we've got a. Oh, what are these? Lunar moths. Hate to catch them, but they are. Uh, they're very interesting. cave nearby maybe we can explore it possibly do some random uh, random exploring at some point through areas this place is unoccupied Shrine of Stendar. says 
Enchanting increased to 23. And we've got a level. Okay, so we may read Twin Secrets back at the um, inn because time is ticking on. It will be good to get to the uh, get to our location and then we can even possibly rest or come back. Oh, Hilfer from the shrine. Just yet. I'd love to know where this cave is. It's going to be trouble. Let's, um... Spear. Oh, they don't want to fight, obviously. We talk to them. That's close enough. Hey, look, a cave. Wonder what's inside. Good point. That's close enough. Hello? We come in peace. Now ain't this a surprise? going. Hundred cotton, we've got a good collection of that. Cheese. Okay, we'll visit the cave later. We'll get to our location first. We have been questing for quite some time now. What are these guys doing here? What? If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Something's happened to this fellow. I long to be out there with my brothers, waging war against the Empire. Go along. Keep walking. So much, absolutely so much to see here. Shrine of Zenithar. Blessing of Zenithar added. Let's see what that gave us. Oh, prices are better. That's actually really good. Okay, almost there now. Got a farm nearby. What is that, though? Is that that looks to me like a ghost? How far are we? Eesh. Maybe if we get to the farm, we can rest up there and continue next time, possibly. Our legs are weary. Our mana depleted. This is definitely a ghost. The unquiet dead. Very good work. Where is he going?
Okay, so many, many things have happened here. Um, I feel like this is a whole other episode. So perhaps we can go in here and rest a little. It's late. Okay, so we can sit, we can eat, and we can get warm by the fire. Well, it was a really enjoyable episode. We've expanded upon our travels a lot more, grown as a conjurer, and we've got a whole new area to explore. I'd like to thank you for watching and joining me on this. I am really enjoying it. It is a bit slower, but uh, the characters and laws are very deep and rich, and I hope to see you next time.